Your Highness, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with the fuel surcharge. Emirates Airlines lifted it from the price of tickets. How long do you think is that, is that going to last? Is that going to be gone for the rest of the year? And why the move? The move is actually because we see seen uh, the oil prices is really going down, so we thought it is fair to the passenger actually for, to charge them for something that is uh, not there. So that's why we moved actually uh, by less 5%. Do you think it's going to give you a competitive edge? Do you have a sense of how much it's going to cost the company? No, I think in the end of the day, I think when the prices goes up, uh, always it affects the bottom line of the, of the airline. So we'll always we have a delay there. Right. With oil prices as high as they are, what does Emirates Airlines have to do differently? How are you managing that volatility? I think we've seen prices when it reached $149, uh, passenger still uh, flying, but I think uh, we build a loyal uh, customer uh, to the airline and I'm sure that they will always like to, uh, to fly with the Emirates and Emirates is not immune uh, from the fuel prices going up like any other airline, you know. Is there anything you have to do differently in these conditions? I think we will always try to manage our costs, we try to bring our cost uh, down, but I'm, I'm sure also we invested a lot in the product and that's why the, uh, the passenger keeps going, coming to us and, and flying with, the, with Emirates. You said on Tuesday morning you don't expect an IPO in this year or next. Do you see it eventually happening on the five to ten year horizon? I, I don't, I'm sure uh, if it will happen one day, but there is no rush uh, for it and we will be prepared any time the government of Dubai decide to IPO the, the airline. As you know, this year we have a $4.5 billion uh, dollar, uh, uh, worth, uh, I mean, in, in, in terms of the, the airline cash and that's a lot of cushion for the airline. And that's why we, we keep it, because if we expect the prices of oil to go up, uh, always we have a cushion there. Looking at how Emirates operates and how it wants to grow, do you think it's practically a certainty that there will be an IPO within 15 to 20 years? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there will be an IPO for Emirates within that frame of time. You said also this morning that uh, you'd expect that if there were new aircraft orders, you'd announce them at the Dubai Air Show. Do you have a preference between Boeing or Airbus right now? What are the advantages of each one? I think we have both types. We have the flagship of Emirates, the A380 uh, Airbus, and also we are the biggest uh, operator of 777 uh, Boeing. So I think uh, they are very competitive. It depends on the route that they fly in them. So each one have a different advantage uh, and uh, to the airline. You are building the world's largest fleet of super jumbos. Any sense of where you want to deploy the A380s that you're going to have? Any sense for how strategically you want to move them? You know, I think we have to move them according to the market and the market demand. Obviously, because we have, uh, we will have 90 of the A380s, so I'm sure you will see them deployed in every route that we fly to. Emirates seems to scare the competition, certainly in Europe and North America. What do you say to your competitors, to Lufthansa, to Air Canada, and how do you see Emirates overcoming their objections? I think, you know, uh, airline, they don't like to see competition, but competition everywhere. I mean, even uh, in Dubai, I have an open sky policy here. There is more than 120 airlines who operate uh, to Dubai. So we face competition even on our uh, home ground. So I think uh, airline, they, and they should really think about uh, there is different markets. It's not only, uh, there is a, not the only market is Germany and, and Canada. So you are a man of many hats, and we'd love to get your thoughts on Dubai's financial strategy. Have asset prices recovered enough that you think it's time for a rethink? Could we see asset sales this year? 
I think if we're talking about Dubai, Dubai core business is doing great. I think if it comes to the export business, the free zone business, dry dock business, I think maybe the, the one area which has been affected is mainly real estate and Dubai wasn't really immune like the rest of, uh, of the world. Uh, as I said before, there will be no rush, I mean, just to sell asset for, for I mean, we, we have still, uh, if you're talking about Dubai World, uh, part of the plan, so, uh, I mean, we can always sell within the next five years or eight years from, from now. And the thought of changing management, bringing uh, the management on different levels of those companies up to expectation and, and be able to really raise uh, their profile and profitability and if there is a, co a business that is not part of our core business then maybe we will think of, of selling them if we have to. Do you see that probable, possible within this year those non-core assets selling from Dubai's portfolio? I, I cannot really say but I, I don't think we have a rush to sell anything this year. Any sense for how you want to run Emirates in the year ahead? Any difference from the year past, given the current challenges? I must really congratulate the management of, uh, of Emirates and every individual in, in Emirates. I think the way it's been run, because we really retain the management people, if they are uh, expat and nationals, uh, uh, being within the company for the last 25 years or 20 years and, and I think we have always to be innovative uh, in the way of, uh, of the thinking. We have to remain open to challenges and, uh, and to the market and I'm sure that we will do great as we did in the last 23 years. One of the analysts we spoke to described Emirates strategy as grow, 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 full steam ahead. Do you agree with that assessment? You know, I think in any business today, you cannot really stand still and you have to grow your business to be able to make profit. And that's what, what every business and every manager or chief executive push his team is to grow and to make more profit. And one way of really making more profit is by growing. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much.